Hello and welcome back. We are just about to check out Cavern of, of So Tuk Tuk. Or whatever that is. Slowly going uh, toward Nakataka, but uh, we are not in a hurry. So. Let's see what's inside here. Very welcoming. <clears throat> You come upon the opening to a small cave, putrid gusts of hot air burp from deep within, and you hear the faint chitter and hiss of Sarips in earnest conversation. Let's enter the cave. Your boots crunch through a drift of brittle bones as you creep into the sorry lair. Hmm. <clears throat> so do these Saurips have a uh, dragon as well? Got it. I'll just go. I you can also play it safe a little bit. I see a soul in the darkness. Watch if Rao Key. Keeping an eye out. Foes ahead. Uh oh. Love will be on safe. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's on now. Retarget the barbers of concentration. I don't know if I want that at all. Feel so. Oh, what happened to you? She's paralyzed. Why is she there? Save her if you can. Nope, didn't work. We'll be the privy. Elot, what about you? You're not using your first level skills. Just using your regular attack. Cautious rogue and cautious wizard. <clears throat> can I add more AI behavior? I don't think I can. Oh, he's using Slicken now. They've targeted there. Yeah, we need to go for a heal on the party. Pillar on every single one of them? That sounds like a really good one. Flanked and blinded. So she's out of skills. Holy Radiance would be a nice one to pick up. Also, sorry, priest. How about blind egg guy? Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Seraphin is dead as well. That seemed to happen quite a bit. Not very helpful. That's it. That's not very helpful. Yeah, he's uh, a lot is out of us. Both rogue resources. Oh, wow, really? Second wind? Instant? 85 health restored? 10 base? Plus 20% per level? Plus 18% per might? Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. Why don't I see their health? Oh. For some reason it was turned off. What? Elat is dead as well? Say your prayers. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Yeah, of course. 
Yes. Get out of rage of that. How may I help? I shall. Alot, can you just destroy that? Who, who is high ranged? What was that? Curse of Atrophy. Well, it's destroyed now. I don't really want to get blown up. What is that supposed to be? Curse of Black and Sight on Barrels? You're not the smartest, that, are you? That's it. Mm, yeah. Let's see what we have. Fancy shield. But I don't think that really matters for us right now. Cuttlefish, hackfish. Okay. More rest wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, sorry, skirmisher. Just attack him. Mother Sharp Rock. Something up top? I don't wanna miss that. It's mine now. A fine dagger. But we are not using daggers at this point. Uh, but Sotic can use daggers, right? It's Sotis Cycle. Okay, this is a special item. Okay, uh, let's see. Armor. Can I list by cell value? Enchant value. Time acquired. Okay, let's list by cell value. Light armor. Mataru clothing. I think we're just gonna get rid of this fine garment and use medium armor. Because that seemed to be pretty damn important. Not dying. Uh, that's kind of a top priority at this point. Male armor. Sure, let's use male armor. I hear you. <clears throat> From between the bars uh, stares a frail and sickly sarip. It shrinks when you near, uh, pressing itself into the furthest corner of its cage, trembling. Around its neck are the remnants of a bedraggled feather crest. Paint is smeared across its face, but the paint is old, flaking. It hasn't been reapplied in some time. What? The Sorb's regalia tells you they must have uh, been an important figure in the tribe, perhaps a high priest or a mother, but its condition makes clear that those days are long past. What happened to you? The Sarib watches you with an unreadable expression on its face and says nothing. Break open the cage! You tear the bars clear out of their frame. The Sarib scrambles uh, to get out of your reach. When you make no move to capture it, it stares between you and the open cage door, blinking rapidly. It tenses, then bursts out the door. Sure, Mother Sharp Rock. Can we talk? <clears throat> Who locked you up? The Sarib scuttles behind you and grabs hold of your leg. What? It points across the cave to the corpse of a large, well adorned Sarib, one of their cap champions and scouts. Hmm. Why are you following me? The Sarib tilts its head slowly and blinks. It narrows its eyes. Like it can't quite figure out what you mean, it glances back at the cage you freed it from and stares at you expectantly. Do you always follow your leader around? The Sarib clings tightly to your leg and refuses to let go. You wanna come with me? Or you wanna hump my leg? It stares up at you, unblinking, and finally releases your leg. When you make no move to chase it away, it hops up and down 
excitedly. What? Okay. I guess you're welcome to tag along. Damn, that was a tough fight. Oh, we can name the island. Ooh, that's a good question. Well, we... Well, we already used our secret treasure. I just named the island Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Whatever. Heart attack. <clears throat> Broken spear pass. Hmm. So is the Sarab still with me? What is this? It's really bad. <clears throat> Bones crunch underfoot, strewn across the sand are skeletons half buried in wind blown dunes or lying bleached and baking in the sun. Their corpses still wear the tattered remnants of their clothing, their packs uh, tangled in their limbs. Worms circle like vultures high above you. You feel a tug at your leg, mother sharp rock clings to your boot, staring out at the dunes, then look up at you, her eyes are wide with fright. She fears this place. <clears throat> the sand is strangely lively here, it dances as if uh, caught in a breeze, but there is no wind to stir it. Several piles of grit rise above the dunes in suspiciously orderly mounds. Use ranged weapon to test the sand mounds reaction. Let's do that. <clears throat> the mound of sand whips itself into a small storm, it rages across the dunes and its outburst awakens the mounds of sand beside it. Together they rise from the desert as a swirling cloud and bear down upon you and Mars. Wow. I guess he finds some elementals. Why is Watcher in the front? That's not the formation we're going with. Uh. What? What is this formation? Let's go. Let's try to confuse them. Oh boy. This is futile. Lava, the old one. Can I retarget it? Okay, they are confused now. <clears throat> but that doesn't necessarily help me. Maybe do a uh, consecrated ground. Yeah, bewildering spectacle in one guy. Still not that good. Okay, let's just do a fireball. What? Why is it so hard to do a fireball? Why do you have to go that close? That wasn't half bad. It's not very helpful. Why are you not attacking? Hmm. What are you up to? Sarah fan. Sure. 
So, do we want to rest here? Oh yeah, let's rest. <clears throat> get rid of the negatives. Uh, get some bonuses for uh, the next fight. Daily wages, 28. Damn. Boy. Sure, let's take the pistol. Going north. Seems like there's nothing else here. I might need to tweak their AI. Uh, yeah, let's go toward the ruined tower. A narrow wooden tower rises high above you. Above the door, at its base, hangs a carved and painted mural of uh, Amira and Nagati uh, engaged in fierce battle. The tower lists heavily to the side, just a few feet from uh, tumbling over entirely. Amira is a god, bird goddess, who hatched the world from an egg. The Huana wo often worship her as Hylia. <clears throat> Nagati is a Huana trickster goddess with a hum humanoid body and the head of an anglerfish who is uh, thought to lure marines either into or out of trouble at her whim. They often worship her as Ondra, making the Huana the only people that believe Ondra has physical manifestation. <clears throat> Alright. Let's keep searching. Finding stuff. <clears throat> Nothing of value. Time to bail. Tuk tuk. Cavern of Sour Tuk Tuk. Come on, it's very appropriate that uh, the island is called Tuk Tuk. Vakara Reef. Secret Treasure Island and Tuk Tuk Island. So what's going on at Vakara Reef? Merchant Vessel Sloop. Maybe I should uh, be a pirate now. Who knows? We might try that. <clears throat> Ooh, the high seems doable, but I'm unfamiliar with these creatures. What is this formation? Okay, uh, also I think we need to change the AI a little bit. Maybe get rid of Cypher Aggressive. Cypher Cautious. Happy to oblige. I don't know if you want Priest Aggressive at all. Oh. Rogue Cautious. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna keep it till it causes issues. But yeah, the AI is not amazing, obviously. It just uh, speeds things up, I sure. suppose. It's nice to have it. It doesn't hurt to have it. Um, oh yeah, that's what we want. <clears throat> Change the formation. Looks like trouble. Okay, here we go. What? Why are you guys are running in? <laughs> Let's do a heal on yourself. Like, right away. Yeah, that looks decent. 
bewildering spectacle. Okay. They're easier to hit now because they are blind. <clears throat> Should I do a laser? The high? That's it. Mm, do you really wanna put the frost cloud over there? Let's put it over there. Also, I'm pretty sure that they are somewhat resistant. They are very resistant to cold. What are you not doing? Your damn thing. Oh. So I have to pass it for some reason. That's no good. Aggressive, 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 aggressive. Okay, down. <clears throat> Alright. They're figuring this out. Sea troll, yeah. That'll be taken down to high. So, why are you not using blind on Sea Troll, for example? Yes. Flanked now. Now, time for the slicken. Okay, they managed to slip. But this is no good. So to slip too. Let's go. That's it. Also, Seraphin is sitting on a lot of uh, points and not using it. Wow. Oh, I like that here. All right. See, throw you're going down. Okay. Can't take much more after him. Can you just do a heal on the party? <sighs> Alright, we didn't take an injury, which is great. Wait, is that it? What? Oh, that looks good. Tears of Saint Macavo grants martyrs memories. Caster becomes petrified and untargetable until for a brief time. Okay. Plus area effect. Sure thing. That's a bit weird, but I suppose like anything is kind of good. Plus two resolve. Necklace of resolve. Max health is nice. Intellect is nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Religion and stealth. Plus two resolve. I don't know. Armor rating against spells only. Plus one resolve. That could be good. Protection.
Mm. Plus 10 healing done and 1 alchemy. Wow, that's good, isn't it? What else do we want and need? Area of effect. Let's pick that up. Looks good. Alright. Well, this will impress him. Alright. Looks like there is nothing else here. So just a small fight. Makes sense. With uh, a named character that we taken out. Okay, I'm gonna... No. We're not gonna find anything uh, secret there. Ah, well, fine. I do have uh, enough supplies. Wait a second. I didn't pause the game. Plague ship? Ooh. On the horizon, a ship comes into view. It sails furled, the ship lists upon the water. Plague ship! Uh, Jordu, red handed, cries out from the fore. Finger jabbing skyward, indicating a green flag billowing lazily in the breeze on the ship's main mast. A Baldu leans close. We should be careful, Captain, or we'll catch whatever took hold of those poor souls. Still, little Luca muses, there might be something worthwhile on board. The crew steals glances at you to catch a hint of how you are inclined to proceed. Maybe we can help. If we can't cure them, we could at least give them a merciful death. Reddit guns, the cannoneers need practice. Seraphon hisses. You gun fool? <laughs> Fucking adult, Captain Watcher. You don't go sinking ships just on account of, be of them being there. Come on! <laughs> Bail the eyes widen. Are you sure, Captain? They don't seem like a threat. You heard me sing them. We can't let them spread whatever they've got. Very well, Captain. Baldo turns to relay your orders to the cannons. Jure the red handed frowns at you, or the mad chuckles quietly. A volley of fire erupts from the Defiance, tearing across the hull of the plague ship. It lists to one side, taking on water, and you see members of its crew leaping into the water. Their screams carry. What a waste, little Luca frowns. Should we see if if there if uh, there's salvage? The plague song now, isn't it? Okay, let's see what we can find. Little Luke grins. The Defiance spends the next few hours collecting bits of uh, deb detritus from the water before sailing on. What? Okay, we got something out of it. What's your own damn fault? Wait a second, what? I'm in a completely different land now. What? I can't help but feel that I should stick uh, inside the main square for now. Yeah, medical supplies. Slavers. Oh, crap. I don't know why I jumped on that uh, proposition so eagerly. So my cannons are pretty good at 350. Rum Dum Briggery points to a dark spot on the distant horizon. Captain, a vessel approaches. You squint to the horizon and see an 
unfamiliar colors snapping in the breeze. They have pretty good sail health and hull health. The vessel keeps its distance, skulking about your periphery like a feral cat outside the slaughterhouse. It makes no attempt to hail you. Easy prey. Alright. So they are in front of us. Let's go full speed. I'm not gonna read everything because it's kind of pointless. I'm gonna still full speed, uh, go full speed ahead. Turn port. And we gotta fire the cannons. Yeah, apparently, good chance to hit. Grape shot. We gotta kill the crew. Okay, we killed some guys. Oh, we lost some whole integrity, I guess. Let's turn to starboard. Turn to starboard again. And we gotta fire the port cannons. Grape shot. Kill some crew. Alright, kill some guys. Hmm. I suppose I might as well turn toward them now. Full speed ahead? Do I want that? It's gonna take some time to reload the cannons. Especially the one that never fires. Prepare to jibe. Let's go full speed ahead. Let's go full speed again. Head again. It seems like an easy one. They barely have any guys. Ramming speed. So we're gonna ram them. So we managed to ram them for hull damage, and we suffered hull damage as well. And we're gonna have a proper fight now. Alright. Well, I guess this made sense. They only have 3 guys against my 11. Easy. Wait, what? I have... 9 guys, and they have... 8. I mean... I can't say I'm a mad genius, but... It does not seem the same as 11 versus 3. What? She's almost dead already. Everything seemed to happen so fast. <laughs> uh, 
Well, let's just retarget them. All these guys. Are we getting so ridiculously overrun? Even the fireball is tricky to use here. Definitely the chill fog that I had great hopes for, but in practice, it's not working as well. Come on. Whoa, what the hell was that? Firewall? Devoted slave. Well, I'm sorry that you're so devoted. Do I think we need to get out of this? Cox poor captain, better wizard. What are you doing? Why are you trying to get yourself killed? Yeah, I, I need to get out of the fire. But without triggering the special attack. Please. 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 No. Look at that formation. Do I need to tell you guys? One by one. Go over there. Now this would be an excellent time to not die. Fireball time? Are you sure about that? It seems like you might be making a mistake there. Retarget the fireball. How about not kill every single one of your teammates? Hmm. Everything hurts, Savvy. This is a bit weird. No, 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 no. How about kill that guy and just do a heal, okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. Iconic projection. Okay. You have one sliver left to take care of. Oh, one slaver is withdrawn. It's gonna come into fight sure thing. fairly soon. <laughs> okay, look at that. So, fine padded armor. Heavy armor. Great. Fine crossbow. Fine great sword. A lot of fine stuff. Pretty good haul over there. Take all and continue. Fine brigandine. Maybe I'm gonna use that fine brigadine with Watcher. She needs to not die. And that's surely gonna help with that. 
What else we have here? That I might wanna use. Fortitude boots. Sure. Fine greatsword. I guess that could be a thing for her. Not like I really care. And that's about it. Yeah. It's gonna take longer to do actions, but not dying again. Pretty good. Armor rating of 10. Alright. I still have uh, food and water and whatnot. Are we gonna be pirates? What is this place? The Valiant Trench. Heavy clouds darken the horizon. Clouds gather in the distance, a hazy curtain of rain hanging from them. Little Luca eyes uh, the storm and spits. I wish this ship had a boat, Swain. There is no one better to have with you in a storm. Your crew looks to you. Your orders? Assign crew duties? Ask a companion's aid? You seek one of your fellow... You seek out one of your fellow travelers. Uh, the crew could use a sermon, sorry, if you're inclined to give them comfort. You want me to pray to an aspect of death? So it is lips quirk in amusement? I suppose I can plead for the safe passage of our souls through hell, should we all perish shortly. After a nod, she bows her head. That's not what I wanted! Glory be to the many aspects of Eotas, greatest of all, who is gone. I will... I, I raise my voice to you in humility. Thankfulness and everlasting worship, hear me, my God, and take pity on my dire plea. As we now sail through the dark storms of death, we will not fear the re reaping to come, for your lantern will guide our way. We will not stumble or stray from the path you have laid us through hell. We will embrace the end of our lives and chuck the rotting husks of our fallen bodies. That's not what I wanted. More like cheer them up. After whence, we will be planted for rebirth by your hand, forever and always, as the wheel turns. Amen. Okay. Assign... Crew duties. The crew look to you for guidance. Baldu, take this line and lash yourself to the wheel. I don't want you going overboard. Great. With a grimace, Baldu accepts the rope and begins lopping it through the spokes of the wheel and his own belt. Assign deckhand duties. All hands, get below decks and secure the cargo. Everyone into the rigging, we need to re reef the sails. The crew ascend into the rigging, pulling lines and tying off the sails, diminishing the amount of fabric facing the wind before returning to the deck. Hand out the last of the cooked food, Irina, then put out any fires in the galley. Okay. Aye aye, Captain. That's enough for now. Alright, we're prepared. Let's take take us in. The clouds sweep over you, dominating the sky and hemming the sea beneath a roiling uh, grey dome. The rain drums against the deck. Sweet beads on Beldo's brow as the storm looms ever closer. We can't outrun this one, Captain. <clears throat> the ship rocks interminably and unpredictably, and soon the crew clutch their heads or guts, bend double over buckets, squeeze tight between their knees. The befouled grog scent of their sick thickens the air. Open the gun ports. The crew will feel better if they can see the horizon. Uh, yeah, let's just reduce their nausea. Obviously the cypher is gonna do it. Eyes closed, Seraphin concentrates on the crew. Soon, Marineers 
take to their feet again, the sickness no longer weighing them down. The storm rages on, showing no sign of subduing, subsiding. One day passed? One day spent in the bloody storm? The wind calms, but rain pow powers from the sky as if the Defiant had uh, come to rest beneath a waterfall. Rainwater sloshes across the deck and under the rails. Hmm. Uh, it's not about holding course, we just need to survive this. They're flying bare poles. Elbaldo, everyone else, get below. Baldo grimly grips the wheel as the rest of the crew secure the furled sails and disappear below decks. The wind presses hard against the masts, driving the Defiant forward, and the vessel plows through the storm. As they're exhausted, the clouds finally calm, coming to rest like a thick blanket across the sky. The waves, too, end their trembling complaint. The Defiant finally sails easily. The crew lean against the rails and rigging, their faces haggard but relieved. The storm, it seems, has passed. Okay. Uh, well, we didn't die. That's a plus. Could have been worse. More us pre still pretty bad. Because I'm feeding them uh, nothing. And we're drinking water. And they're not the happiest about that. Okay, maybe that's not how I should explore things. But that's kind of how I like to explore things. Anyhow, uh, I probably need to go over there. Sovereign of Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk Island. Yeah, we need to be a little bit careful there. You hear a knock at the door? To your quarters? Is this mutiny? You're not, you're not long at sea when Chiputek appears at your door, wiping away sweat with a rag. Begging your pardon, Captain. We've been sea at uh, a while now, but you're not been in a state of fit. You've not been in a state fit for speaking for most of it? The sailor glances over her shoulder, then back to you. If this crew is going to be taking your orders, you might want to make a proper introduction. Let everyone know what you're about. Um, you're saying I got something to worry about? Okay. No, Captain, it's just tradition and a sociable thing to do. Chipotec chuckles. Alright, uh, let's uh, gather and address the crew. Chiputek calls the crew to get on, the, on deck. A small group of sailors hang uh, uh, longedly from the rigging. A perch on crates and sitting against the rails, their eyes turn to you as you stride onto the deck. <clears throat> Welcome aboard the Defiant, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Watcher, your captain. Yeah. I don't really like that name. People call me the Watcher all the time. But to be fair, once I let... well... My kind... It's pretty rare. <sighs> I guess it's better than call me the calling me the Pale Elf uh, that people used to do. Ahoy mates! I take what I want, when I want, and so does my scourge of a ship. No, this is a crew. Can you believe that statue in my room said over, over nothing to look at? No, I like this. Ahoy, mates! I take what I want, when I want, and so does my scourge of a ship! Eldengrim glances towards Irina, who cuts off any comment with a quick shake of head. What? I run a clean ship? We're not pirates? We're not raiders? What? That doesn't fit. I will not suffer insubordination. I say jump, you ask me how high. The ship isn't boards and sails. It's all of you. I'll give you everything I got as a captain. I expect the same from you. 
That's bullshit. Who here likes money? Stick with me and you have more coin than Kit can spend. <laughs> this is great. I know I slept through the strip out here, but now that I'm awake, the fun can start. I'm glad we cleared that up. Now get your asses back to your station before I start throwing people overboard. <laughs> this is great. Oh man. Ah, I have to go with this. Who here likes money? Stick with me and you have more uh, coin than kids can spend. I that be uh, <laughs> very thing a pirate likes to hear. Seraphim's mouth splits into a wide grin. I captain. A quick cheers. Sparking chuckles. Chipotec uh, claps and the rest of the crew join in. Smiling and nodding. Uh, little Lucas steps forward. Pardon me asking, uh, Captain, but what exactly is the ship's mission in the Death Fire? <laughs> that oversized naked statue took a piece of my soul. I mean to take it back. They don't give a shit about that. Eltas leaves a trail of destruction and despair in his wake. It's up to us to get, uh, set things right. They don't care about that. We're hunting a big blue bastard of a god. Now who's with me? That's a bit scary. Plunder and booty. We are after the gods, them plunder and booty. That's that's pretty good. That's a good way to keep it light. You all have our own reasons for being here, and I doubt you all want to share. The same holds true for me. Plunder and booty, baby. We're after the gods damn plunder and booty. Well, that's actually kind of saying the truth. We are after a gods uh, damn plunder and booty. It's true. Now, that's something any mariner can sail behind. Rum Dum Riggery pumps a fist in the air, earning a round of laughter. It builds into a cheer before dissolving into a raucous, baldy shanty. Head slowly shaking, Chiputek chuckles. You certainly speak the language of the Dead Fire Captain. Um. <laughs> Irresponsibility? <laughs> Color rises in Ella's cheeks. He shakes his head. Soti bites at her bottom lip, be eating it with blood. <laughs> hey, don't say I'm an irresponsible captain. I just know that these people don't give a damn about Eotas and whatnot. They only care about making money and making money and having some fun on the way. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Plus Eotas. And here I thought we had larger matters before us. A lot says, frowning. Hey, it's a marathon. The crew split up, returning to their duties. As the ship, your ship, sails on, slicing through the bright blue waters of the Death Fire. Come on. <laughs> I think that was. I think that went well. <laughs> But, but like seriously, we're gonna like, hey, we're gonna kill ourselves. Merchant vessel sloop. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, this is a good time to take break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.